Good afternoon, everybody. First of all, a great round of applause that he took time out to come here. Can you applause? for him and he has to be with the family so we've got 10 minutes but the reason he's here there is no agenda he's here because he loves our country India and I quickly want to deduce the fact that uh, uh, my relationship with him is very interesting 15 odd years ago we tried to make a movie in India and uh, that didn't happen but at that, that time he became a friend but before that he was an inspiration for me uh, but from being an inspiration to becoming a friend and then becoming an unconditional family. So it means a lot. And I'm in your territory. <laughs> uh, so there, this being a really special occasion because uh, I just wanted Michael to uh, say a few words about his Indian experience. Because I believe that cinema has no boundaries, no language, no caste, no culture. Cinema told from the soul will be understood, heard and watched by anybody on the planet. And I do believe somewhere that uh, Mr. Michael Douglas is just not an actor. There's something about him which is magical enough for the entire planet to be proud of him and his works. So just a few words from Michael about our country and our cinema, if he's seen a bit. Shalinda, very nice. Thank you so much, Minister. It's a pleasure to be here. Really, uh, really in in enjoy this. Um, I guess the first message is, is that film is an international language. Um, I have filmed all over the world. I love the fact of different languages and different cultures, and we all understand how to make movies together. Certainly India is a, one of the, the leading, leading makers of all films in, in the world. So it's, it's a joy, and it's one of the pleasures that I have traveling around the world uh, and working with different film crews all over. Uh, Shalini referred to a, uh, a project that we'd hoped to have done called Racing the Monsoon uh, years ago, and it's, it still may be alive, and hopefully we can, uh, we can do it. We had issues when we had to, when we wanted to shoot, which was not uh, during the monsoon season, uh, we needed a train. And the trains, of course, are very popular for the tourists and all of that. Uh, during the time, so we had to figure out the logistics. But we had a, I've been to India now three times. Uh, always had a wonderful, wonderful experience. I've been very impressed on the energy, the imagination, the creativity. And uh, as somebody who watches news and current events, uh, India is hot. India is, is rocking. Uh, you can see it, it's, it's moving. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's moving, and so uh, we're actually, my wife, uh, who is going to be sad that she is not here because she loves India, and um, she's a pretty good Bollywood dancer, too. <laughs> so, I have evidence of that. Yes, she's, she's, uh, uh, she's very good, and we're hoping to get over, we're actually we're planning another trip. We haven't been down south, so we wanted to go down south from Hyderabad to go down around in that area on our, our, our next trip. But I hope everybody's having a wonderful, wonderful festival. I had a lovely honor of receiving a, 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 a Palm d'Or, the Golden Palm d'Or for a lifetime achievement uh, the day before. It was, it was very touching. Uh, I've been coming to this. Uh, hey, thank you. I've been coming to this festival now for 40 plus years. Um, I couldn't believe it. I had a lot of experiences. I love situations just like that, where you get to meet people, people who love film, and uh, people who, who, who want to make movies. So I hope in the future that we can find a project uh, to do together, and I would look forward to coming back to That's the uh, India. That's the cue. I'm taking that cue. So <laughs> just for the uh, record, uh, Michael flew down 15, 17 years ago to make uh, the trequel for Jewel of the Nile, Romancing the Stone, the big successes, and the trickle was, was to be shot in India, which was Racing the Monsoon. And that didn't happen, but this friendship happened. Uh, today we've got the minister, we've got uh, Mr. Kumar here, and, uh, uh, and he just said it. So if you all put it together, and they have the blessings of the government, we'll not only get the train, but they'll also make it rain. 
<laughs> and then we can make, you know what, listen, it's, it's, it's a memorable moment. Because he's done it all. Uh, I just feel that massive, big, fun movie one more time. Yeah. What do you say? Yeah. In India. Yeah. It was a, it was a, it's a good project and we were excited about it. Uh, and I'm taking a year off now, a little no. break, but I go for some take a break <laughs> sometime, you know? And uh, uh, so, but I will we'll plan and hopefully maybe in a year we can play, figure out how to, how to do this thing. So we'll prepare it in the year while you holiday. Okay. And then we'll just bring you in when it's all hot. Okay. And just one question, the last trip to India, when we spent one day in Mumbai, what was the one memory that just stuck with, about Mumbai? Well. Shalindra was so kind, and he said, you know, I'm going to make a little memory of your trip in, in Mumbai. And that little, that little video became a full-length film, and his, his hospitality was off the charts. He really was, Shalindra, I'm very grateful. So we actually have a nice little film we made with Shalindra, myself, and Catherine on our one day, in, uh, one day we spent together in Mumbai. Yeah, and, and I'm in Mumbai. So what was the moment in the movie? Which moment? You mean when we were dancing at your house? That uh, it's was pretty good. Uh, <laughs> it was, uh, he was, was dancing on Kala Chashma. <laughs> yeah, you, and you had, what was the dance group that you had? Shamak, you spoke to him. But yeah. the moment, I'll tell you the moment, because he's forgetting. It was when Catherine danced to uh, Om, Sh Om Shanti Om song, and he was filming her on, on your phone. Yeah. I uh, thought that was I, super cool. It was really cool. It was very, very cool. Just seeing her dance with the whole team. And she, she like knew it, they all, it was yeah. so fantastic. But she was leading the group and then everybody followed. It looked like they'd rehearsed. So, so, uh, <laughs> what's the film? I'll tell you why I'm saying it, Unplugged in Mumbai, it's on YouTube. But the, in that scene when she danced, the Shaman Tower's troop was behind her. She was in the front. She slayed it. She killed it. Do you remember? She knew every move. All, all what we spent months to choreograph, she did it in 30 seconds. Anyway, I'm just uh, going to, because he's, I know you're going to rush. Um, allegedly, he's told me that he's partied very hard last night. Well, you have to do something. We're, we're, I'm leaving. <laughs> we're leaving today. So uh, last night was our, our last night. I had two busy days uh, with this nice award, doing a lot of promotion and publicity for, uh, for the festival. I hope everybody has a, a lovely time. It's a, it's a great festival, so it's a lot of fun. There's really nothing like it uh, in the world, and I, I hope it's prosperous and fun for, uh, for everybody here. Just one uh, thing, which is uh, the minister and Ms. Um, wants to share with you, that we have the Indian International Film Festival in Goa uh -huh. every year. It's been going on for 54 years now, and I think they want to just uh, share something with you about it. I'm very happy to you're here, uh, so particularly in our uh, Indian pavilion. So I'm welcome to you to this pavilion on behalf of uh, our ministry and our NFD, uh, NFDC. So we are aware that uh, you have a very, very big fan followers throughout the world, and particularly in India, you have the people have craze on you. So your movies like uh, Wall Street and uh, traffic, this Wall Street and all, uh, very hit movie in India also. Throughout the world and India <laughs> also. So I, once again, I convey my best wishes to you. And apart from this, uh, every year we are conducting our International Film Festival at Goa. Uh, what are the dates? Yeah, it's a fixed date, November 20th, from November 20th to November 28th. Which month? November. November. Okay. So, uh, this uh, coming year, uh, this is the 54th edition. So I am welcoming you. I must expect your visit and your presence. So with, your now with this entire family, the whole yes, family. Yes, entire family. Yeah, family in uh, uh, so, uh, Yeah, we are Indians here. Yeah. Uh, uh, Indians is all about family. <laughs> I welcome you with the entire family to this uh, our Indian festival. It is a very big festival. You know our Indian culture, Indian tradition, and uh, Indian diversity, and different language peoples, and different 
food culture so we will bring together in goa and uh, our indian cinema now it's in going uh, ahead and uh, even regional movies and our indian regional movies it comes to the up to uh, hollywood level and world world level, world level. and uh, you know that uh, our we are focusing on the content our the content this year uh, indian uh, movie the elephant whisperers uh, they got uh, oscar award right it's in uh, stories from a, from a forest story and some uh, two elephants how they brought up the elephants so uh, yeah yeah so th th this from india so we are uh, very proud of that moment and i'm very happy to you are here uh, to such a man uh, such a big man here <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> <Thank you. laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you, Minister. That's very kind. And I mentioned earlier we wanted to go to Goa. So we go, yeah, we'll that's part of the deal. Schedule yeah. and maybe we we'll try to yeah. find the time to get there. We'll, uh, what we'll do is we'll work hard for mounting the race in the monsoon, and then and if he agrees to come in November, then maybe all of us can. So November is very good climate. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> November is in very good climate in India. You got you can enjoy our climate. Yes. Super. Let's go for lunch. What do you say? Thank you all. Nice to see you. Have a wonderful festival. Enjoy yourselves. <laughs>